Hi, my name is William Higgins and welcome to my review of D-Link's BoxyBox. Next we're going to move into apps and this, similar to what you would experience, uh, <laughs> app stores are very popular these days on the iPhone or iPad and things like that. So Boxy has its own apps, and as you can see, there's, these are my favorite apps, so I'm going to highlight a couple that I, I really like. Obviously, uh, like a lot of uh, applications for different platforms, you'll have a weather app, and I can launch that particular app. And what, what apps are really, there's a little bit of code, obviously, that's running on the Boxy, and for the most part, it's enabling a connection to the internet and bringing in data, streaming uh, videos and things like that. So as you can see... This is the, the standard weather app. It uh, can configure my location. Uh, so it gives you some on-screen information. So again, for uh, if you don't have the weather channel or things like that, this obviously provides an interactive way to get your uh, weather information. Uh, if I go back to apps, uh, there are a number of apps that are centered around videos. I will show you one of those here in a minute, as well as uh, music is also very popular. So a lot of websites um, are certainly featured. They'll have an app that kind of bundles their data um, I'm going to actually show you Reddit TV because I am a Reddit fan and uh, we'll certainly post this uh, review and things on Reddit. And so Reddit's got a really nice uh, app, I think, for browsing through videos that are posted on Reddit. So usually these are very relevant. Uh, a lot of the popular viral movies we're going to show up here. So, I mean, as you can see, it really, um, depending on, let's see electrocuting a coin. It looks like an interesting video to watch. Um, similar, click on it. It's going to basically go out and buffer this uh, video. And again, you get the boxy interface over it. And now we have a web video. And certainly with web videos, uh, the quality may, may vary. Uh, this one obviously looks to be of a lesser quality than you would, than you would get with some of the HD ones that we've done. So let me pause that. That was interesting. So we're going to leave that app. I'm going to show you Pandora. So music on the boxy box is uh, also very uh, well, well enabled. And um, I have my boxy box attached to my Yamaha receiver through my surround sound system. So uh, Pandora is one of my favorites. So just to give you a taste of what uh, the Pandora application would be like on Boxy. Um, I've got my Miles Davis uh, radio channel. And as you can see, there's some visualization on the screen. You obviously have controls to pause, fast forward. You do get to see the album art and information about the song and the artist. And if you come down here, you get to browse the other stations that you have. Um, so in this particular case, uh, let's see, my kids do use this as well. So um, I have a mixture of different stations, but anyway, I can certainly find a different station and um, pretty, pretty quickly can change it. But again, the sound is really great. Uh, because it is digital coming out through BoxyBox into my receiver. So great for parties, and if you want to throw in the music and you get a little something to look at. Uh, so I think that's useful because sometimes when you're listening to something on uh, Pandora and you want to kind of understand what you're listening to, you get to see the information. So pause that. You probably can't hear me too well over the music. But anyway, so that's uh, that's Pandora. So excellent uh, application for Boxy for music. Um, there's also uh, Mog and Groove Shark. Uh, a number of other uh, obviously uh, audio functions so uh, anyway but I'm a, I'm a I'm a fan of Pandora so